Well, six hours ago, I, I uploaded a video lauding the uh, the great news that it looked like Kurt Zuma was uh, was free of injury, that he declared himself fit and there was going to be no scan. <laughs> um, and then around about three hours ago, the news broke. Uh, I think it's being broke by the sun. Uh, of Kurt, I'm sure you've all seen it, of Kurt, of Kurt Zuma... Uh, abusing his 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 cat, it's, it's brutal as well. You know, drop kicking the cat, lobbing shoes at it. You know, and then and then uh, and then kind of smack smacking it, um, smacking the cat out of his his son's hands. You know, and that's that's what makes it even more disturbing. Not not just the fact that he's doing it, uh, but the fact that it's it's being filmed. I, I, I believe by his brother, who's 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 laughing. You know, you can see the animal's terrified. Um, and he, he's doing all that in front of his his, his son as well. So you know, if if, if those are, a, you know, that's 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 not an isolated incident. That that that's the, the, that's a mark of the man, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, but I'm, I don't I don't really want to kind of kind of get into that because I'm 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 an animal person. You know, uh, I'm just shocked by it. All. I, I, I really am. Um, and I I don't think there's any. Is any is any doubt that it was him? He's come out and he's issued he's issued an apology as well. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm absolutely I'm, I'm lost for words, really. You know we've we've we spent the last few days sort of fretting about whether or not he's going to be fit because we're worried about the football and then that comes out. I mean you just you just can't make it up, can you? You really can't. You know and what sort of impact is that is that going to have? Um, because he can't play. Tomorrow, whether, irrespective of whether or not he gets nicked, which I think he will, um, I, I think he will for that. That there'll be probably probably uh, there'll be a big fine. There'll probably be a uh, hopefully certainly have a, a ban a banning order preventing him from from owning animals anymore. Um, and I would imagine a custodial sentence because that's that's what would happen if if any if if a normal person did that. Um, so I'll, I'll be very surprised if if he was allowed to sort of play again uh, for the for the next month or so anyway, and that's without any sort of sanctions that the club impose on him. Um, but what what are the other fallouts going to be? You know, you know, because if if you've got someone like that sort of associated with the club and they don't take tough enough action, you you, you kind of you, you're gonna you're gonna start getting issues with sponsors and. Uh, nobody needs bad press, and and the thing is, you know, like the animal rights activists and all that type of thing, they'll all be attacking the club. So they're they're, they're good. rightly so, but they're 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 going to have to come down on 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 Kurt Zuma hard. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm I'm not thinking about poor Kurt Zuma here. I'm really not. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you what I think about him at the moment. I'm I'm thinking about poor West Ham. Um, I just don't know what's going to happen. And even if he was able to play, and even if he was past fit, and even if this was brushed under the carpet by, by the club, um, and and they were like, "Go on, get out there and play," you know, we've got to win this game. He's he's not going to be in the right headspace, you know. His his face is going to be plastered all over the national newspapers tomorrow, all over the internet. He's going to get hounded, you know, not just in the football stadiums, but outside as well. If you look at the reaction on Twitter, and Facebook, um, it's our. A lot of our own fans have completely flipped. You know, uh, we don't want to see him playing in claret and blue again, um, and that's without all the stick that he's going to obviously get from away fans as well. So, I, I just don't really know what to make of this, and 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 it just seems like one thing after another with this club at the moment, doesn't it? It it, it really does. You know, we've we've got over the obviously we lost those two games before the transfer window. We had all the expectation of the transfer window, and our, and, our, and our hopes were sort of crushed with that, you know. And then you pick yourself up again, and then the um, David Moyes comes out with that with that poxy interview, which pissed everyone off as well. Then we had the Kidderminster game. Um, it felt like a loss. It was it was it was embarrassing anyway. I mean, it weren't as embarrassing as it bloody would have been if we'd have lost it, but it, it, it kind of felt like um, it was. It's starting to feel like there's a problem at West Ham. Now, because the performances ain't been great, and it's not just the fact that there's injuries and stuff like that, but then you get you get this. You know, we've got this Fred Bear squad. Um, obviously, the players um, declared himself fit. We think great, you know, because we're we're still in that top six push. The players declared himself fit, and then this breaks. You know, um, and and it. it 
this is just like an injury though so even though this is this is something that you you know the club might might come out and say well look this this was outside our control yes this is outside your control but the fact that you've got no squad squad backup and and depth the fact that we've got no depth that is that was completely within your control you know um you did your best to injure the player on on the weekend anyway making the bloke with dodgy knees play 110 minutes and then when he does go down screaming you make him get up and you play, and you make him play on for 10 minutes so so you, it's not like you're looking after these players you're not you're not you kind of not you're not helping yourself in this situation so this could very well be life without azuma could very well have been a situation that we were we were going to face anyway starting to look a little bit like he's going to be an injury prone player as it is um so we we, we know he's had injuries in the past yeah not for a few years before he joined west ham but then again has he ever been expected to play the amount of games in quick succession that he plays for West Ham when he's the main man? You know, when he played at Chelsea, he's, he weren't going to be playing week in and week out. Whereas whereas now, he, he genuinely is the main man. So, uh, uh, well, he was the main man. I, I don't think he's going to be now. He's not. I think we're just going to have to embrace, you know, Diop and Dawson now. Stop getting on Diop's back, um, and and hope that he, he 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 finds he finds some form because look let's 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 get it right. When Dawson when when Diop came in, Diop there there was a good player there. It really was. Whether or not that was because he was partnered with Ogbonna, and Ogbonna brings the best out in players, I don't know. But he was a very good player, you know. Don't forget, it wasn't so long ago Jose Mourinho was talking about signing him, and we thought that we were going to lose him to to Man United. He was he was. He's, there is a player there somewhere, but for whatever reason, his confidence has gone. He's, he's completely bereft of confidence. He's shot to pieces. And this now is not just going to affect this. Because, cause look, look, West Ham at the moment, we know that David Moyes, it's all about team spirit. It's all about squad togetherness. This isn't going to help because it really isn't. Not just the fact that we're missing this player, but there's going to be there's going to be some sketchy relationships in that in that um, changing room now because yeah you might have a couple of people that go oh look it's just a cat it's just a cat but you're going to get other people you know uh, like me and like many others who I'm not being funny I, I, ge- I genuinely like animals more than I like people <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an animal lover I can't um, I can't tolerate cruelty to animals in, in, in any way um, and you're going to get that with footballers as well so in the changing room they're going to look at that and go F- they, they are um, so, so what is where, where is this going to lead us West Ham you know this, it, it just it just feels like everything's imploding it's one thing after another and I don't want to be dramatic but that is genuinely how it feels um, we don't need this shit at the moment we really really don't uh, and, I, and I, I genuinely oh, I, I don't want to get sort of too into it and too personal and, and and, and and sort of really get really say what I want to say about this bloke at the moment, but I I don't like him anymore uh, after what he's done now. You know, um, there's no denial. I couldn't watch all the video to be quite honest. Um, but he, he and yeah, I, look, I know a lot of people will play it down and say, oh, don't you know, don't. But look, if if you love animals, you love animals, and 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 you know, generally as a country, we are a country that that you know we do we do we do like our animals and. That's that's his pet as well, you know. I mean, what 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 was he thinking? And 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 to and to have it videoed as well, and then and then see fit to have it posted on social media because I'm assuming that's how it leaked. I mean, what's the, what what is the mentality of these people? You know, you had the Mason Greenwood thing, and then you got this bloke. You know, it's it's, it's getting harder and harder to 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 sort of have any have any affection towards these 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 players. But then, look, you can't tie them all with the same brush. We know you, you, you've got your, you've got your genuine characters as well. I'm just, I, I, I just, I just can't, can't believe it. I can't, I, I honestly can't believe it. And yeah, I was all positive earlier on. I was negative last night when we did the Watford uh, preview. Then the news broke that Zuma and Antonio were going to be fit and they were going to be playing. That picked me up again. So I was, I was, I was all happy again. Uh, thinking we was going to win, uh, but this is worse than Zuma. Just be, I would rather he'd been, I'd rather he'd been injured than 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 this. 
um, have broken out because it doesn't just affect Zuma, it affects the team as well. This is connected to the team. He's a West Ham player. He's he's he's, he's our best centre back at the club. Um, this 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 affects the image of the, of the whole club. It really really does. It's a it's a fucking joke. It really is, and and that's it's, yeah, great. He's come out and he's apologised. <laughs> and it's an isolated incident. It won't happen again. And I'm sorry, mate. Them 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 animals are going to get removed from you, and you hopefully will never own animals again. Um, I, I'm just I'm just uh, yeah. I, it's a strange one. It, it it really is with West Ham at the minute. It it just feels like it is just. I've said this already, but it just feels like it is one thing after another. You know what next? What next? But no, nobody was expecting this. You know, and I I, I don't ever re, I don't ever release these breaking news things. And I, I I done one earlier on because it was such big news that we had Kurt Zuma back. You know, um, and then lo and behold, a couple of hours later, that breaks. I mean, what are the odds of that? But um. Yeah, I'm 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 gutted. I'm disappointed in in him. Disgusted in him, to be quite honest. Um, I just kind of feel a bit deflated again about 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 us and about our season. About because what what are the long term effects going to be as well? I mean, we can't afford to take a twenty eight million pound hit on a player, you know, and he earns a fortune. So what 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 can because the thing is they're not just going to write it off. West Ham, they can't. It's all very well and good saying, you know, it's it. If he gets nicked, he's in breach of contract. We can cancel his contract. Well, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna let a 28 million pound asset just walk away, are you? Because he's gonna join someone else. He's gonna join a club and a, and a country with less morals. Um, so you're not gonna do that. So what do you what do you do in this situation? This is this is this is rubbish. And 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 like I say, Moyes has got this real small, close knit squad. And there's, there, he's got nowhere to turn now. He's got he's got nowhere no one to turn to. And this is this is the other side of it, you know. Um, so obviously Moise's due diligence checks checks don't uh, don't stretch to animal welfare. That's another tick box he's going to have to have on his on his diligence checks in the future. But um, it's, it's not Moise's fault. It's not Moise's fault. Um, it's it's not West Ham's fault. I was happy when we bought Kurt Zuma. Um I'm not saying that this is the end for him, but at this moment in time, I can't see him pulling on a, on a West Ham shirt. I genuinely can't. I, I don't know that I want him to at, at, the, at this moment in time. Wh wh whether or not that feeling will, will dissipate or not, I don't know. But yeah, that, it's it's all it's awful, awful, um, awful news. It really is, you know. So West Ham are not a circus anymore, eh? Never stops if it ain't the board. And the thing is, you can't blame the board for this one, can you? Um, I don't know. I think we're bloody cursed, don't we? We're absolutely cursed. But anyway, I, I don't really know what more to say on it. Um, I just, yeah, I just thought I'd post another update because of the stupid update that I posted earlier on, celebrating the fact that he he was he was clear of injury. Um, so yeah, that's. That's me done. I'm sure we'll talk about it again. We're, we're, we're going to be doing the Watford review on on Wednesday. Um, God knows what. Um, yeah, I don't know now. I mean, what are your thoughts? Uh, to, uh, let, let me know in the comments. What, how, how do you think this is going to impact us? It's not just a player that we've lost here. This is this is going to go. This is going to have a, have a bit of a deeper a deeper effect. I think. Obviously, they're going to have to remove him completely um, uh, uh, out of the the team environment I would imagine um, and sort this out uh, but yeah very very odd I, 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 I don't really know what to um, I don't know what to make of all this at the moment I can't really wrap my head around it but um, but yeah we are where we are we're going to have to see how it all unfolds tomorrow and in the coming weeks but um, yeah same old West Ham eh? same old West Ham come on you irons